Welcome back to Alan Wake 2, everybody. I have no clue what just happened. Dark place. <laughs> so with the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? So... Scratch killed get out of here. everybody? Boy, it's very hard to see. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm not sure exactly what just happened, but there are bodies, there's blood, there's all sorts of stuff. But apparently we gotta get out of here. We don't have any weapons, we don't have a flashlight. Yeah, we've got nothing. Okay. We still heard Casey. Casey, we were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Absolutely. I hope he's not. Oh, they killed people that are that work here. Great. Oh my goodness. Everything's so dark. Jeez. Okay. I need to protect myself. Oh, sweet. So we got a flashlight. A flashlight. And a gun. Okay, so we've only got two bullets. I assume that we're gonna be finding some other bullets at some point. Should we go towards the fighting? I think we should go towards the fighting. And he's just going <laughs> after me. Okay, we've only got four charges, so. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't mean no good. Because I don't have any ammo. <laughs> Run away! Run away! Uh, please be something somewhere. Pretty please, that'd be great. Can I get out this way? I can't. Man, we are covered in blood. Come on, just go, just go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just caused that thing to explode. Please no, please no, please no. I don't have ammo, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Why does everything... Does the FBI were after? Were they letting themselves be taken? Seems so jittery. Let's not discriminate. Hurry up. I only had one a one bullet. What? E <laughs> e Just run. Come on. The pressure in my head was unbearable. The scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. Okay. Pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey, Casey? where? Where are you? That's not him. Okay, we need to find Casey. <laughs> well, we know where he's at. Casey, I'm coming. Elmo? 
Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. What? This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the Sheriff's Station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait! My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it! Agent? I should be... Go home. Careful moving weight. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Tor and Odin were in the photo with the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Okay, <laughs> we, <laughs> we always do that. I could have swore the last bit of last time, the last episode, was the end of the chapter. But no, we're right back here, at, starting at the end, of course. All right, so we gotta find Casey, and she's okay with finding family? Searching for her family, so, you know, we're good there. So we don't have to leave yet. Okay. Hello? Taga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Yeah, we're gonna have to get back to the nursing home. So we can go back to Alan right now, but I kind, I you know, I kind of want to see what's going on with Alan. Let's take this. Let's do our mind place stuff, and then let's go see what uh, Alan is doing because he they arrested him. So I kind of want to see what's going on there. Okay, so the history of the Valhalla Nursing Home. The Valhalla Nursing Home. Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance Lays the Demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. <sighs> I guess, you know, it just never, uh, never changes if you're a rock star. Valhalla Nursing Home. Torin Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach. This is my best lead. Okay. What do Tor and Odin know about the clicker? What happened to Tor? I heard yelling before he was cut off. Okay. So we have Cult of the Tree. The cult tried to kill Alan Wake. Okay, there we go. Why do they want to kill Wake? Il Ilmo Koskel attacked Wake while wearing a deer mask. Yes, we know that he was part of it. Because their meeting place was underneath of his uh, bunker thingy. Alright, then cases, the story. Those are for later. And cult stashes. Okay, yeah, we never, we never put this one where we needed to. There's still one more there. And there's one more there. So, let's go. Okay, so we're going to go to Alan Wake now because I want to see what's going on with him. Okay, so we are back in the city. 
Yeah. Okay. So it's not taking us to the reality of Alan Wake. We're taking it's taking us over here. Okay. So I do want to do this though. So we needed to go to was it the hotel or we needed to go back to the, uh, the Parliament Tower? Yeah, which is that place. So let's head over here. I think we needed to go back to the apartment, if I'm not mistaken. Because we'd already done the hotel, which is where all the craziness happened. Okay. And just like that, it opens for us. All right. Yeah, I need to take more time going back and forth instead of sticking to just one side. I stuck to Alan for so long, then I stuck to Saga for so long, but I need to swap it up. Not, maybe not every episode, but, you know. <gasps> Go to hell. Return. Invitation six. Or initiation six. Um, that way we're... Because there's certain... At certain points, you can't progress the story. Um, if you go too long as one person, so... But I haven't actually run into that yet, so I think we're doing okay. Let's close that. We like to close our doors behind us, because we don't like things behind us. Okay, this looks kind of ominous. Oh, it's like a... turned the bathroom into a dark room. Yeah. Okay, so these look like... Wait. Looks like a picture of us dead. Okay. No such things as too personal. The photos are me. Just need to show a glimpse. Make you see what's beneath the surface. Make you see what's beneath the surface. So... I mean, Scratch is us, right? And us is Scratch? <laughs> us is Scratch. I needed to get inside the manuscript. Okay. So the manuscript will be in there. The apartment's completely different this time, too. Doesn't look anything like it did before. Okay, let's take a look here. We'll go all the way down. Start at the bottom here. Greetings from Hollywood. From Barry, Barry Wheeler. That was the, uh, the agent's name. The old gods of Asgard. Hey, Alice. I'm more a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the north, north, in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything is so great all the time, even when it's in fact the opposite. More than once, I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after AI's legacy. Al's legacy. So Alan, okay. Everyone wants to gobble at film rights for the Casey books. And they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tanned zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply. For such reasons. I mean, why we loved... That's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, I got to hop on another video call now to talk about casting your pal, Barry. So Barry helped with getting the rights to Alan's movies, as well as doing this, uh, being the manager for the old gods of Asgard. Joined a cult. Hey, Alice, this is from Barry Wheeler too. You're going to think I've replaced, I've been replaced by an evil double and I've joined a cult and I love it. Joking about being a cult, kind of. Blessed Wellness Retreat. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress, lo stress levels are through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat. The best decision I ever made. I have never felt this good and well healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a damn miracle worker. Not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of it, but I have lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here, that something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. I believed him. 
I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me. Enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut. I hope you are good over there. Come visit anytime. West Coast is not as bad as they made it sound in my earlier emails. Your pal, Barry. These are all from Barry. Okay. Hey, Alice. Checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in nonstop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeling, peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. How these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. Your pal, Barry. Okay, this is six months ago. I'll handle it. Sharks circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or TV show and or get this, a video game. I told them to piss off. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al. I hunted down her publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I've got you covered. You're pal Barry. How was everything? Four months ago. Hey Alice, everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call, but I couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business related in your exhibition, just say the word. Your pal, Barry. Okay. Okay. So, Barry, we know Barry was now working with, uh, or working with Alice on stuff about Alan and things. After Alan died, I didn't leave the apartment. Have we seen this? I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, the fear. barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Okay. Uh, so Barry is a good, good, good person. Alice's work had consumed the apartment her whole life. I need to show you the truth on all the screens. Just need to show you a glimpse. Okay, it's the same one that was in the uh, the dark room. deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. Okay. Part two of two. So, do these have more to them whenever we watch them? I'm going to check in a bit, but here's another TV. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. Okay. Part two, three. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a look at these to see if there's more to them. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, they're exactly the same. So, I was just seeing. Okay, so there's probably gonna be more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography? can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Okay, so she's... started seeing things in the shadows and wanted to capture the darkness. Okay. escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch, a monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Okay, so I didn't the memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there at Parliament Tower undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. I didn't realize that Alan or Scratch was the one who wrote the return and is trying to get out and Alan's actually trying to rewrite it. So that's why Saga's in the story. That's why um, that's why she's there, like her family and all these things were a part of the story, but not reality because Alan's trying to write her in to save everything. Zane has said we worked on return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. So we're, so we're writing ourselves back in so we can get back to Parliament Tower. That's, that's so cool. 
That is really stinking cool. Okay, so we've got the TV there. We're going to go into that in a second. I'm going to see if there's anything through here. Okay, so we can switch reality here. Let's save it. So this is just a save room. Okay. Can't, can't get out. It could not be opened on this side. It could not be opened on this side. I love how he says that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wig. Whatever you say. Hmm. Door, okay. Zane. The masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. Okay. It's still flooded. Can't get down through there, so we're probably gonna have to go backstage here. Yeah. Or side stage. Okay. What? Okay. It's fine. Locked. Okay, let's check these rooms. It's been a bit since we've been in these rooms, so let's just see. 665. Don't like how he was just behind me. Go away. Okay. Let's just get past him. I only have four charges left for my flashlight, so I really shouldn't be wasting him on those things. The story will go on forever. Coming. Okay, 
The Lord didn't seem happy to see me this time. Fearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite. And Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? <laughs> well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, the... Uh, what is the name The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Thank you, Adi. Find the shoebox in the basement. I believe that that was on the on the map the first time we came down here, and I think I was looking for it and couldn't find it. But that makes sense that we can get it now. I mean, I, I guess it kind of makes sense. I'm just saying that it makes sense. Okay. So we have a bunch of these lights. I'm gonna look and see what's over here. We got looks like three charges right now. Make sure I'm not missing anything over this way. Oh wait, this take us out. Uh, it takes us back to this room here. Um, let's see what this does. No, I wanted to get the pictures. No, I wanted to get the picture. <laughs> Take me back. Take me back. <laughs> Don't know. Hold on. End of part. Come on now. Because if we come through here and put the light back in or take the light right, there's something that's going to open up for us. A ladder? No? Well, suck. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do this. And let's wait. Let's go ahead and save it. Um, no, because it's gonna take us up. I thought maybe it would take us down. Man, wait a second. Oh, when we can't get back out because it blocks off the door. Damn. Okay, that's fine. So what's our objective? Find the shoebox in the basement. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find the murder site. Zane would know where to find one. For Zane at the hotel, so we gotta go back to the hotel. The phone's not ringing this time, so that's good. Try to avoid these guys. Gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, wait. Do I need to go over this way? Yeah, there we go. Had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon. To sort the clues based on my interpretation. To change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Hmm. I think you were a shadow, a performance set up for somebody else. There we go. Sup? 
Zane, where are you? Please open the door. There we go. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Okay. Plot board. Okay, so we can still do those, uh, the plot boards here. So we're probably going to have to use those to change things around to get to it, I would assume. You have found an episode of Night Springs. It's optional content unrelated to the main story. You can access it now or later. Yeah, we're going to do those later. Um, probably towards the end of the series. So we'll get into the Night Springs. Uh, I think you can access them from the main menu. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. try anything I will shoot you in the head scratch wrote return not me you're a fucking liar you've given up you stopped writing you said it was too dangerous that that we didn't deserve to get out and then he showed up scratch he promised to write to get me the hell out of here he was magnificent a visionary Finished. It took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site. In my cinema, where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! Okay. Oh, mercy. Thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut. Now that is drama. <laughs> what? What the <laughs> fuck? I had a million questions about Zane. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I had more pressing concerns. Zane's film, Initiation Eight. Okay, so we got find the movie theater poet cinema. The okay. next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. Okay. Yeah, I... Oof. I have a lot of questions. Hopefully we'll figure them out. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So... Wait. No, 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 no. What was that? can't pull that on me. We go back. Will it turn back on? No. Okay. Let's look for the cinema. I hate 
feeling like I missed something. Like, was I supposed to look at that TV beforehand? I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. Oh. Thanks for that, Alan. I would have looked around everywhere if you didn't say something. No. I just want to save it. Okay, we saved it. We're good. There is an escape, and that's what I'm working on. Leave me alone. What was that? Sweet. Alan's pistol is so much better than Saga's. So much better. Shadows faded back into darkness. Okay, did they drop anything for me? They did not. Okay, I could use more batteries for my my flashlight. Let's look over here. Don't see anything. Okay. There we go. Great. Cut through the darkness, but there's more people over here, and I don't want to waste anything, so if somebody attacks me, we'll get them, but if not, we're just going to hoof it. There's a door over there. I want to check this door, actually. Can't open it. Couldn't get in. I was missing something. Oh, gosh. Were you holding a chair? Were you trying to beat me with a chair? What a jerk. Okay. Call for the word. Yotenyo, Nightless Night, a Thomas Zane film. But Thomas Zane is us, just without a beard. So, I'm a little confused about that. No. Leave me alone. I just want to look around for stuff, my guy. What the hell is that? Okay. There's going to be something on the other side of this dumpster. Yes, there is. Cool. Sweet. All sorts of goodies. Wait, what is that? Flare gun ammo. Nice. Definitely keep that in our back packet. Our back packet. Oh, there's something here too. Hold on, you. Some more pistol ammo. Okay. Looks like we can come through here. I'm gonna look around, then we'll get into the theater. Okay, there was nothing else around. Well, there was. There was an empty box. Because they like to do that. Give me an empty friggin' box. to be closed. Maybe the ticket could still get me in. Who it Who is in there taking tickets? The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. <laughs> Hard Casey. <laughs> Hard boiled and hung over. Jeez. Okay, so there's a new scene here. Where is it? That's up there. So I gotta get up there. There's also gonna be a word of power up there. Okay. Take a look at this first. I felt like I'd been on this case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night. 
leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt them monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. Okay, there's something here. Something. Wait a second. Wait, what? So up, that way. This way, that way, that way. What? There's arrows all over the place. Okay, so here's one. There's that. Okay, so I don't know if that's the same one those are referring to. Maybe these are going to be changing whenever I change the scene, but let's go over here. Uh, words of fix. God raise. Increase your max amount of health restored in safe havens by 30%. 100% of max power health when the new world of power is discovered. Let's just do this one here. We'll just get on that one. And then we'll go to plot board. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me a head of scratch. Okay. Let's do this here. I should look around first, but that's okay. But do first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Okay. Let's look around here. I'm so confused by all those arrows pointing all over the place. Okay, let's look around down here. Let's get the whole front cut off now. Or blocked off. Oh, interesting. Hello? Somebody's breathing. I don't like it. Oh, cool. Look at all these goodies for us. <laughs> Our inventory is full. I need to get uh, to a safe room so I can put some stuff away. I wasn't paying attention before. But now that we know. Okay. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. Yes, they have. Get some popcorn while we're here. Nice little snack for Alan. He hasn't eaten this whole time. He's probably hungry. writing at some point I can't stop there's too much at stake yeah you got to keep writing you got to get this stuff over with all right everything is organized we got a little bit of extra space that's good okay so there's a door up here of course it's on the other side I'm gonna check in here I have a feeling it's where we need to go staff only Okay, sounds like we're gonna be heading back outside. I was missing something. Missing something. I probably should change the scene again because we never checked around beforehand. Okay, cool. Now let's take a look around. Um, okay, cool. So we can get, actually get back in here now. Yeah, we never checked before we uh, change the scene, so. And this is why I would like to do that for everything. Oh, so we've got a map. Poets Cinema. Okay, so there's an echo, so we got that. Concession stand, scene, lobby. Box office. Locked door. Uh, okay. All right. 
Oh my gosh, we're full again. Okay, so this might be where we need to go back to Saga. Because I don't see anything. So let's check to make sh sure that we can go back to Saga before we start going crazy. Okay, so there's nothing here for us to... We, we, we can't go back to Saga. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. The story was affecting the scene. That's what needed to happen. I just needed to come in here and do that, change the scene so I can get back beyond the barricade. Okay, there's another echo back here as well. It will do you, it will do you a lot of good to talk, buddy. <laughs> it was an initiation ceremony. Or so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest. They had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them. And something very special for you, Alex Casey. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> you will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre. So I'd use it. So, let's get to theater hall. Okay. So we got a new scene that we can play out. So, let's come here, New York's finest. Okay. So it changes that. Anything back here? Just that. Okay. So I think that Ilmo was talking about Nightingale and that last echo. He said New York's finest helped them or... Oh, there's something here. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, so I think that might be who he was talking. Maybe? I, I, no, it couldn't have been because they killed Nightingale. So I don't know. I'm just confused. Theater hall, new scene. Let's take a look around here. There's a... <laughs> There's a gnat flying around my face. I must be... I must be musty. Oh, there's an echo, okay. The urban legends circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film Freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film an early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. Okay, so Zane did the movies. Or did a couple movies. And Nightless Night was the one that was showing at this theater. Okay. Let's save for him. Oh. Wake. Oh, great. Not today, sucker. Not today, sucker. Well, yeah, we'll take the trauma pad, I guess. So what did that change of the... Okay. It's fine. So this is a new scene. Um, theater hall, there we go. Cult of the Word. Let's take a look at this. Okay, 
Okay, so there's not going to be a film actually playing. I thought it might show us something after that was done. No. Okay, let's get up here on stage, see if there's anything up here. Look at them all. Look at all of them. So adorable. Okay. No, nothing. Okay. What about up top here? This might not be the right scene. But... Oh, okay, so there's another echo. Sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Huh. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the Nightless Night, you will finally see. Nightless Night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Okay. Let's do this real quick. Yes, that changes a little bit. Not much. But, so we've got... Okay. You guys chill out there, okay? Uh, New York's finest. Let's see what this does here. The scene changed with the story. Shit down, boy. Okay. Great. Where are those things coming from? Okay, let's take a look up here. I have a feeling that the new one that we just unlocked is what we're going to have to put in here to progress, but that's okay. Alright. Just a bunch of blood and cult symbols. Just be quiet, please. I'm looking for stuff. Leave me alone. Alan Wake. Okay, nothing back here. Okay. Then we'll go... Clip of the Lost... Yeah, Clip of the Lost film is the last one that we haven't done yet, right? What is this, Wake? Interesting. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. I was Out in the night. the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. Okay. Let us save it. Because, you know. Things be going to get crazy, I feel like. Okay, see it. Looks like we can do... Oh, there's something here. Nice. I'm so glad I just emptied out my, my inventory. Great. Great. Anyway. Um, but it looks like we can do scene changes here as well. So, we're going to take a look around. See if we find anything cool. Any words of power. Any Any cool items. Any, any, any dead bodies? Maybe Zane's out here playing the guitar. Um, and then we will uh, change the scene and see what changes. I, I just need to working on the story. I, I know, I know, Alan, I know, but I would like to see what's around here before we do that because I would like to make sure we're not missing anything. So does this take this? 
Okay, so this will just take us back in the safe room. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll just leave you alone down there. Okay, I feel like this is going to take us back inside the theater to that one door that... Yeah, staff only. Okay, won't let us in there anyway. Okay. So, let's see how this changes. Let's do Call to the Word as first. Okay, so there's an echo up there now. Some glass breaking. I don't like that. Still can't get in there. Okay, it doesn't look like much has changed, to be honest. Okay. Keep yelling down there. Cult of the word. Um, I just, there's a homeless, homeless like little camp up on top of that. Someone who fallen to their death from the rooftop. Wait, how do you know? Where do we see that? So we did call to the word. Let's do New York's. F the cop has had sold their souls. Okay. The police car felt important to the story. Yeah, it did. It feel very important to the story. Okay, so how do we access that before I? Oh, over here. Cool. Too far? Back further? There we go. You think they're gonna want us to, like, cut off a finger or something for this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do? It's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. So the cops were obviously complicit in everything that was going on. Wait a second. Hold on, I'm gonna go... Wait. Did I not get through there? How does that... How do you get over there? Obviously, uh, well, unless I change the scene while I'm standing back there, but there's a doorway over there that I should be able to get through. Oh, wait. This felt correct. There we go. Oop. I'm too smart for you, game. Where do I go? Toolbox. What's this? Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down on the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. This is... So it took us up above... So we just went through there and came out here. Okay. I get it. This game's so confuzzled. So conf confusing. Wait, have we have we been up here before? I don't think we have. Jeez. These cases are ridiculous. It's just... Oops. There's just so much stuff in there. Okay. Oh, sweet. Tim! Oh, no! 
Oh, okay, so we're going to be able to get over to this side, and then we'll be able to change the scene and access... Oh, there he is. Is he in here? Oh, sad face. Okay. Yeah. Can't go down this way. Okay, yeah, so right here is where I should be able to change the scene again to be able to access that echo. So, Cult of the Word. There we go. Don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Why so jump. Ilmo that booth. Was that where I find the murder site? Is it Ilmo that killed himself? Meet the Grandmaster in the projection booth. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at this here. Just to see if anything changes. No. What about the Grandmaster? Oh, that makes everything a little darker. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go back. I don't want to be a part of your... Your cult. Go away. Miss me. Thank you. All right. Okay. That was just one of them. That's good to know. Okay. I need to... Clip of the Lost Film. I still want to look around. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Leave me alone. Sit down, boy. There's stuff to look at. There's stuff to look at. Leave me alone. I want to look at the... Jeez. Jerks. Okay. In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Okay. I don't know if it was worth it, but, you know, now we know. Okay, so this door is open now. So I'm going to go in here. Yeah, this is exactly where I thought it was going to take us. Okay. And close that door. Okay, so we're going to need to be able to get into the projector room. So I'm going to do this one in here, Grandmaster. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have what? to go to the scene. What? 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 
but 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 this what uh, this what I am though. Do I? Shut up. Let me alone. Changing a plot element in a oh crap! Being there was impossible. Whoops. No wonder I'm a stupid person. <laughs> Boink. Oh shit! Oh jeez. Me alone. Where's the projector room? Oh, I'm gonna have to go back into the. I'm gonna have to go back into the actual theater. That's why. Damn you, sir. Damn you, sir. Leave me alone. No, I don't want any. Oh, I need to change the scene here. Duh. Changing the scene out front doesn't change it everywhere else. This was something out of a horror story, but I had to keep going. Okay. Well, how do I get in there? Okay, do I just put this back? No? So it looks like there's a doorway here that will take us up to the projector room, but I'm not seeing a doorway. And we're just not at the right scene. Let's keep looking around at these. Well, let's take this in there. Let's do New York's Finest. I don't think that's going to do anything for us, but we'll try it. Well, excuse me. Excuse me for not thinking that it was going to be that one. We had to meet the Grand Matthew. Why wouldn't I put the other one in there? Come on now. What the hell? The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. Oof. The murder victims. Ah. Uh, a way into the projection booth somehow. You silly little game. You silly little game. You're playing games with me now. Yes, you are. I really think it's this one, but I, there's there's no way to get through there. Run! Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> it broke the game for a second. <laughs> Wait, let's go down to the stage. We never looked at the stage. This. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There we go. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. <sighs> there had to be a way to the projection booth from here. Okay. I was alone. Hello. Son of a bitch. Show yourself. That's Casey. There's a little bit of color. Okay, so from black and white into color. So we're splicing together the films. So there's I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. Great. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who, who was it? Who said that? The grand master of my ass. You're a clown and a man. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron! The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. Yeah. Wait. Oh, there's a... Okay. There's a different door over here. Wait a second. Back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. Silly, silly game. Open the door. I'm here. Hello? Hey! He's not gonna be there when I'm around this corner. I knew it. Oh, 
I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? Then we'll see who's the moron. Don't like that. Whatever that was. Oh. What is this? Initiation before you get to return, so I assume it's part of the rewriting of the story. Okay, so where do I go now? Oh, there's a door here. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going, find a way to the murder site. Oh, this is new. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Casey, okay. who's there? Look, you got the wrong guy. I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What, what, what's going on here? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. The ritual sacrifice to open the way. No. <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is. In the back. And go. A knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Okay. So we have to kill him? A knife. I have to do it. It's gonna force me to do it? Oh no! Oh no you don't! You'll be sorry! I don't want to do it, bro, but I kind of think I have to. You... Fuck. That's fair, I didn't want to do it anyway. Even though I was kind of excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Coffee World. I was getting close. Okay. Wait a second. We're back where we just were. makes any sense is in your psychotic brain as a fictional character in a story you have fulfilled your purpose you brought the writer of the story here you can go now casey no, no, no i'm not going anywhere before i get some answers how was i in that movie how, why does all this feel so familiar what who the fuck are you who the fuck am i no Welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living? 
Mr. Wake. The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. So they used Casey to get to Wake. Or to get Wake there. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? I don't want to walk back out there. I am scared. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to get attacked. There's more coffee world. The murder site. Oh, jeez. The mask was the key. Scared me. Didn't <laughs> scare me good. Scared me good, guys. I was not expecting that. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? I mean, oh. Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. If we could have family in the horror story. I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Child taken by the tide, nowhere to hide. 